Hello everybody. So last time I did this virtual shopping video, I kind of had a lot of fun, but I realized that the cars.com don't really have very good pictures. And I'm sorry for anyone who had to suffer through that video. So I decided to make part two, which is the Auto Trader, uh, which is another site I use quite often. And we're going to be setting up our parameters to include any and all as far as no mileage goes. Okay, there you go. Now it's interesting to see that when, when I put in Lincoln Town Car, okay, no thanks. Uh, the first thing that came out uh, is uh, Continental, which, okay, I understand why, but that's not really the same car. Uh, so it's a nice car, not gonna lie, but even now that's discontinued, so let's not worry about it. All right, so we're looking for a Lincoln Town Car, hoping to get some some interesting in, information here. Now, I'm filming this just a day after I filmed that original video, and which is um, beginning of July. I mean, God knows when I'm gonna post it. So we will be looking at some of the cars. All right, so of course my phone rings. <laughs> so, uh, so what I ended up doing to make sure that I, don't, I, that I waste as little time as possible, I went through all 17 pages of Lincoln Town Cars on Auto Trader. Uh, and I've tabbed all the ones that I want to look at. Now, that's that's a lot of cars, probably 30, 40 cars. But, but here we go. Uh, once again, uh, using Auto Trader because I realize pictures are, are, are big here. And you can do this uh, right from the top uh, instead of clicking. Well, and though clicking gives it, gives it even better, but I guess you can see, you know, everything on one page so in any case i filmed this car i filmed this whole seven town car this is in gurney illinois where where's that dealership uh i just saw it yeah grand avenue gurney illinois yep i filmed it i have a video on it this town car is in very bad shape now here it's it's okay like you can see the center cap missing but i have uh, i have a video inside and outside it's not good so yet they still want 5300 i know it's an 07 uh it's a signature series so base model it's got rust it's got the broken grill you can obviously look at the the video there if you're interested seats are destroyed i mean you can even see right here i mean look at that uh, it's all stretched out i mean god knows what's working on it what's not um obviously the pictures would lead you to believe that it's okay but it's not i mean 176,000 miles it's not a lot but this is hard 176,000 miles uh so yeah i mean it's one of those things that buyers beware i'm, I'm sure i'm sure it can be fixed may or may not be expensive but from what i saw okay this is upside down yeah with that kind of mileage with um i mean it's 07 okay but yeah this price to me that would be like a four thousand dollar town car i think and that's not even knowing what mechanically is wrong with it all right next now usually i wouldn't look at an executive once again uh, based on the previous video i'm mentioning that i do like the fully loaded stuff um and I'm, I'm okay paying for it but this color combination attracted me with the price it's an 03 10 8 uh low mileage too so a rare one owner town car executive trip to 1000 miles uh, recent arrival, odometer, oh, I'm like, really? Okay, 70,000, 75,000 below the market average. Yeah, so let's look at it. Well, there's not a whole lot to look at it. They didn't put any pictures. So, <laughs> um, I mean, the color combo is beautiful. Uh, it does look like it's got a gold star right there. Uh, obviously, the, the top, I'm not, I'm not too big on that. But down cars and Cadillacs, sometimes Buicks are the cars to get these tops for people who want them. So, Obviously, we would like to see the inside. The color combo is, is nice in my mind. All right, 97 Executive, once again, not not my thing because it's base model, but I, I noticed that 6,700, you know, for the year, yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty pretty well adult owned and driven. Yeah, probably a pretty old adult owned and driven. Let's see, full screen, is it gonna give it any bigger? Okay, yep. I mean, this body style is probably the second, my my second most favorite. Uh, looks like they have like 
the Rolls Royce is there in the background. All right, so it's again, okay, the lighting is not the best. It's got one of these quarter tops. Nah. I mean, it, it makes it look good. Dreamcarchicago.com. Okay, so somewhere local to me. I've never been there. I mean, yeah, it looks like an excellent shape. It's got like 40 pictures in here, so let's see if I can... Oh, I mean, they're really they're really trying to capture it. And I love this generation. They put so many stars, so many emblems, so much more chrome. Uh, you know, they skipped up the, on the wood, and, you know, I'm not too big on the dash. And even, look, this one, you have the foam block, so you don't even get the storage, the, the little storage that was offered with the, um, with the higher-up trim. You know, no heated seats either. Um, but, I mean, yeah, these seats are comfy. And I got the piping. It's interesting how they got rid of the piping later on. All right. Well, obviously, this is some sort of a used dealership. You see stuff peeking through. I mean, it's in great shape. Yeah, I would consider this car. Um, I don't, I mean, I'm not sure if that crease should be there or not. I would definitely get rid of the steering wheel, the steering wheel cover if this was me. But, yeah, I mean, this body style. Oh, okay. Well, it goes back. Uh, the dash, electronic dash, no, I mean, I, I'm, I'm okay with or without it. I don't really have too much to say, but, and then the clock itself, I mean, they devoted so much space to the clock, and it's just a normal microwave-style clock. Okay, all right, enough, enough of that. Yeah, I would I would want to consider Villa Park. Yeah, it's not, not too far from me either, by, by the airport, Chicago here. Uh, another one of these, once again, I decided to just click on them just to kind of understand what's going on. 24, pick, uh, 24 picks, 8,000, I don't know how many miles, didn't say. Okay, maybe there's a picture of it. Yeah, I mean, how, oh, hmm, the pictures are smaller. That's weird. Okay, uh, McChesney Park, Illinois, yeah, also not, not too far, not too far from me, so. I mean, beautiful color. How could you go wrong with this color? You can't, because cars should be this color. Okay, yeah, so signature, once again, base, but man, the black-on-black -black interior, the black-on-black -black car. I'm not sure if the leather is original. I don't remember pound cars being like this, but, I mean, who knows. 92,000 miles. Okay, I mean, the mileage is a little high. I would have rather them put this wood on the steering wheel, but, like, on the on the rim. But yeah, I mean, buttons seem to be in good shape. Well, maybe it's adult owned and driven. <laughs> and uh, okay, all right. Well, oh yeah. So in this one has so it's weird because this one is a signature, but yet it has the storage. So why didn't the other one had it? Maybe it's the year, because that one was older, and so maybe they got rid of the fancier storage. And this one's even got a phone. And then also look at here, the little symbol, the star is chromed out, where on others it was not. Hmm. Yeah, look, look, later on. And it looks like the little trays don't stay close. It's got to be glued. Mm, okay, yeah, interesting. Oh, looks like they got a video here. Okay, signature limited. Contact dealer for price. Okay, this lady keeps popping up every time. Yo, okay, I know why I clicked on this one. 43,000 miles. Yeah, not my favorite color combo. Okay, the pictures are getting smaller, so I'm just going to stick to this. Save time. Piatone, Illinois. It's a, it's a bit it's a bit of a drive. Yeah, the color combo probably not too good. Well, the look at these rims. Don't they don't look corroded at least from this angle. Yeah, ten on ten. You got a nice circular butt imprint right there. I know what that means. Look, <laughs> I mean, I can only laugh at the quality of this of this component. I mean, it's why couldn't they put a little bit more money in it and figure out a way? I mean the. The, the generation before the, the square body ones had, had it covered, just, just the spring tension and the keep it shut, but this is so cheap. Um, anyway, okay, yep, this is my steering wheel. What year is this? 09, okay, so later. Um, yep. Okay, yeah, I would, I would consider this. I would. Uh, looks, looks decent. Don't know what the price is. I hope they don't want too much, but. Okay, here we go. The Cartier, 88. Look at this, 15.9. Holy crap. Lafayette, Indiana. A couple hours drive for me. 74,000 miles. Okay, they don't put any sort of description here, but wow. I love it. <laughs> Look at this. Bush. Oh, yeah. Yep. 
for sure. Now, yeah, the whole top situation once again, but yeah, I mean, these cars, it's almost like you, you have better luck finding, you know, a leprechaun than, than finding it of this style without this top. I mean, yeah, turbine wheels. I don't know if it's a cloud or it's paint or... No, it's probably a cloud. I mean, it's in good shape. I mean, obviously, the price kind of dictates that. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it would be a little bit out of my price range, like if I were looking for anyone. Oh, looks like the buttons are very well used. And it's weird how they're facing up in this model. Oh, and I love the temperature gauge if, if it works, if it's not full of water. Yeah, I mean, this is beautiful. 40 picks. I mean, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, this would be a little bit out, but awesome car. Signature Limited, 9 grand. 70,000. 21 picks. My color, uh, these are those optional chrome wheels, which mine doesn't have. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I could never understand why people block out their license plates. No, oh, yeah, yeah, good stuff. Yeah, I would I would consider. I mean, same, I mean, the, the color combo is identical to mine. Uh, tan interior, I mean, yeah, not the best. No, no sunroof, doesn't look like. Mm, some rust, but <laughs> better than on mine. 69,000 miles, yep, yep, I, I, I would consider this one, no, Lansing, Michigan, yeah, maybe two and a half, three, three hours drive probably for me, uh, yeah, Cartier, so it's rare for me to see any kind of like this body style Cartier, so they were not very, uh, you know, this is like, you know, the, the last of the Cartiers, so 74, uh, that's 100, 119, I probably wouldn't consider it just on the mileage alone. I mean, yes, color is not the best either. Color combo, I should say. Oh, aftermarket stuff. You see, I'm not a big fan. I know a lot of you swap out your stuff, and, and you have a right to do that. Uh, I personally don't. I would rather have original stereo. Uh, sunroof, factory, with that console. Okay, yeah. Oh. Pushed in seat. I mean, look, look at the difference between the driver's seat and the passenger seat. <laughs> So, yeah. I mean, I would maybe like to... Oh, look at this. It's got the coveted uh, trunk organizer. And I think a little bit higher quality on that trunk fuzz material. Mm, clean. It's got that logo that they got rid of later on. So, yeah, I mean, eh, mileage is a little off. But I would like to test drive it and see how it is. Uh, signature limited, 2010. 10 grand, 78,000. Mm, white color, nice. Let's see. Oh, God. I don't want to do that. Mm, got the, the good old pillar chrome. It looks like it's got the, the, the bump guard on the door. So, all right. 16 picks. Not sure what happened here. It looks like some sort of a sticker gone wrong. Obviously, the normal bumper scratches. Hmm. Okay. Not bad. No, not bad. So again, what's up with the tan interior? Oh my God, look at how deep the, the seat is sunk. That's the one thing that I notice every time. Okay, no fuel. Okay, yeah. Here we go again, Jim Butler. Offend Missouri. Okay, lady, go away. Picture, go away. Why when you go full screen, it becomes smaller? Who knows? Ooh, look at all the wear and tear. But once again, I understand this is, this is 86. I was one year old when this um, when this car was on the road. I mean, I like the originality. I wonder if this is painted or is there some sort of like a little plastic trim? And look at all the buttons. <laughs> a lot of buttons. This must have been so futuristic back then. The good old 5.0. Okay, Jim Butler, we get it. I, I love this color combo. Gray. Gray. I probably wouldn't get it because it's... You know, most likely beat up. Um, all right. <laughs> yeah, unless this video is going to be two hours long, I'm going to try and kind of go through some of my closest ones. Obviously, I uh, I put too much. All right. So there's an interesting one. And the reason why it's interesting, when I was shopping, when I was really shopping for my car, and this was December, well, November, December of 2019. This car, I saw this car, uh, not in person, but online, and it was still, it's still for this price, and they still can't sell it. It's been over a year and a half, <laughs> so obviously, okay, so 2010, 20 grand, 
low miles, 32,000. I mean, you know, the fact that I remember this car and I looked at this car and I drooled over this car and then I saw the price tag and the fact that I would have to drive to, to Minnesota. So obviously I, I, I wasn't going to do that, but I mean, yeah, it's a nice, I mean, I'm, you know, they didn't put the black letters at that point in 2010. I mean, it's a beautiful car, no sunroof, which I know some of you may think it's a plus. Um, yeah, but I mean, come on. I don't know how much they paid for it. Obviously, it's none of my business. Okay, it's got the, the, the last generation or the last iteration of switch gear here. But I mean, 20 grand for this car, I'm sorry. Yeah, they, they should, <laughs> considering they can't sell it for <laughs> for over a year and a half. I mean, I, I would I would start, if I was the, the seller, I would start dropping the price. I mean, at least a little bit to kind of see if, uh, you know, they can do it. And, and another one, this, this is another one, Signature Limited. I remember it, so they can't sell both of these things. 63,000 miles. I mean, come on. I mean, they, crap, I gotta stop doing that. I mean, yeah, they're nice. They, yes, okay, it almost feels like it's the same car, basically. I don't know if they just repeated pictures or whatnot, but no. But yeah, I mean, when when sellers want an arm and a leg for it, I mean, good luck. It's just for somebody like me, it's not gonna work. 2011, 86,000 miles, 2011, 11 grand. Eh, yeah, I think it's a little bit overpriced, but again, I, I, I also, okay, they put way too many pictures of their dealerships. I mean, I understand, you know, anything is worth what somebody else is willing to pay for it. But, you know, not me. So this, I clicked on this one because it's a designer series. Whenever, anytime I see a designer, I have to check it out. Uh, eight grand, 138,000 miles, 2007. Mm -hmm. It's pushing it for me, but obviously I love me a good designer. And I like how in the past they used to be, you know, Cartier, the whatever the other designers are. And then at the end of the day, like they would, they stopped using the designer's name and they just said designer. <laughs> that's a cheap way like why couldn't they do that from the beginning uh why did they have to pay whatever royalties they did all right so on the exterior other than the fog oh yeah there you go that specialty wood special wood that's that's what we want which i i get it it's just a different color of plastic and the seats have a cup holder in a different spot why did they decide that this was the special I don't know. I understand that they've used the same thing for, you know, for the for the limos, for the, sig the signature L's. But why is this special? Why is the cup holder here considered more special than the cup holder in the armrest? I don't know. Oh, my God. Yeah, the leather is stretched to hell. Mm. But, I mean, it's always a special treat. Oh, aftermarket sunroof. Yeah. So, I mean, it's special, all right? And it's interesting how they had a cassette and a single disc CD instead of a CD changer. I'm not sure if that's original, uh, but who knows? All right, buttons are in good shape. Yeah, I mean, it's this thing. I mean, it's probably still in good shape, but yeah, a little too expensive for me. All right, let me kind of check to see. Yeah, there's a few special out, out here. Once again, this body style signature, 82 with 35,000 miles. Yeah, I mean, th this could be it if, uh, if all else works out. The Cartier, once again, I saw this, you know, guys know me, not my favorite body style, but 67,000 miles for 2000. Cartier, okay, I understand it's unique. It's probably more unique than the designer. Oh, oh, look at that. They didn't even put the L in here. Wow, okay, okay. So there we go. So you see, armrest here was <laughs> was was not like the cup holder here was not, not here, and it's fine. Although he did have those seats with the armrest. Okay, so that's unique. And then look at this. Look at this carpet right there. Uh, let's see, seat. This seat is not sunk in. All right. Wow. So you know what? I would consider this. I mean, Ohio, not too far. Um, always found it funny that there was a blank like panel here, although thank God for no blank switch, just a panel. I mean, man, just the fact that it's an L, uh, Cartier L, I would consider this car. Yeah, I would definitely consider this. If everything else checked out, I would probably bring somebody like Ford boss me with me, <laughs> you know, as a, oh, I would have bought him a lot of beer to 
compensate first time. Uh, but uh, yeah, wow. You know what? This this might be this might be a good find for somebody. I mean, I mean, how could you go wrong with this? For twelve grand? Yeah, I mean, not too bad. <laughs> this one was just hilarious. <laughs> I mean, come on, people, what what happened? <laughs> What did they write here? Custom Rolls Royce Wimo runs great. I mean, come on. What? <laughs> I mean, somebody should go to jail for this. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yeah. No. How about no? <laughs> I mean, they really decked it out. I mean, man, you got the seats. You got... <laughs> I mean, oh, oh, my God. Pops? yeah okay yeah how about no no not, not gonna happen all right well the rest of this stuff guys um yeah let's just look at this designer yeah way too much i mean you guys can understand that i can talk about this stuff all day i mean you can kind of see the stuff that i picked out uh once again designer 87 no oh, 74,000 miles oh wow so this one is this one is interesting nice color burgundy tan interior why does every why do all these have tan interior nav that's rare okay see it's a little this one is a lot this one is upside down all right unique cartier this body style in 15 grand Oh, the seats are unique here too. Keep in mind also that I'm I'm exploring these things like with you. Wow, I mean twenty one thousand miles. The year I was born. Uh, Signature Limited, Cartier. Here's another one. Sixteen nine. Fifty seven thousand miles. Okay, proper steering wheel. I'll take that. man guys hit the subscribe button watch my videos so we as a as a team can afford this stuff <laughs> designer see i'm never going to be done oh wow really destroyed mm -hmm. and i'm getting texts and stuff again i don't know if this is the screen that's dead or just flickering now just flickering okay ultimate nice Signature limited, nice. Ultimate Cartier again. Oh man, look at those. Look at those. Way to go away. You annoy me. Fifty-three thousand miles. Yeah, like you know, for the right car, I would get this this body style. You know, I'm not not allergic to it or anything. Especially that L model. You know, that really stuck. Signature limited. Here you go again. Eighteen grand for forty-two thousand miles. No. How about no? Oh, look at this. It's also got these these rims, nice tires. Yeah, 17 signature. I mean, you can see that I. Here's your signature L. Oh, okay, nice. Full full size pictures. Oh, you see, this seat is in great shape. This one is too. Yep, the good old fashioned heated seats in the back. For some reason, look at this, this leather is so, like, not torn up, but like stretched out. I wonder if somebody was actually sitting back there. 20 grand, 64,000 miles. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a tough one. Mm, Cartier. This one also, I remember this one from when I was buying my car. Yeah, they, they cannot sell this. 25.4. 8. Yeah, that's too much. Executive L. Five pictures only, and they didn't, I bet they didn't put the interior. I mean, yeah, it's black. I mean, come on. 321,000 miles. Do you want, do you want 12,000? Yeah, well okay hey say here's another one somebody pays for it i mean by all means here's another one 300 000 miles 
So it's obviously some sort of a Nuimo company, because look in the background. Signature L. This looks like the seat was reupholstered. It's a little crooked, <laughs> but it's good that it was. Oh, and back seat's nice. Okay, some spare parts. So it looks like some sort of a limo company, private seller. And this limo. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much if you stuck to the very end. Obviously, yeah, it's, it's, a lot of <laughs> it's a lot of fun for me, but uh, maybe not a lot of fun for you to watch. And just and, and once again, by the time you guys see this, probably none of these cars will be for sale except for those that couldn't be sold for a year and a half. All right, buddy. We'll see you next time.